Hey guys, what's up? Today is a great day. Why? Because Halo 4 comes out at midnight tonight, and I am stoked. In the meantime, I finally had a weekend off work, so I finally got to do some more game hunting the way I would like to do it. Uh, went out yard sailing, went to some flea markets. Uh, so this is just a bit of stuff I got from flea markets, yard sales, I got a Craigslist pickup. I actually got some cool stuff from GameStop that's game related that uh, I think is worth showing off already. But probably the coolest thing that I've ever found game-wise at a uh, Goodwill is this Sega Dreamcast game. It's just a bunch of Sega Genesis games all on one disc. Sonic the Hedgehog, Golden Axe, Shining Force, Wrestle War, Streets of Rage 2, Columns, Virtua Cop, Revenge of Shinobi, Sega Swirl, Altered Beast, Fantasy Star 2, and Vector Man. All on one disc. It was a dollar. It's got some writing on the case. It's got some writing on the disc. But uh, it's, a, it's like the only game I've really seen worth picking up that like wasn't a shitty sports title and stuff that even if you find those at a Goodwill around here. I don't know about other people. Some people on YouTube tend to have great luck with Goodwill. Um, where I live, they suck ass. So I was I was so excited I just had to buy it, even though it's not that great of a game. Uh, another great game that I got off eBay, Guardian Legend for NES. Fantastic game. I suggest you can pick this up cheap. Even CIB, you can pick this game up cheap on eBay. Uh... Play it. It's great. If you like Zelda, if you like like stuff like Gunnack, shooter games, get it. It's the best of both worlds. Awesome adventure. Awesome top-down shooter. Uh, buy this game if you're a NES enthusiast at all. Um, just get it. It's a great game. Uh, I'll move on to some things I picked up at yard sales. I got Good and Bad and the Ugly on DVD. Uh... The Metallica fan in me just had to pick that up. Um, if you're a Metallica fan, you probably know why that movie's relevant to, I guess, us. But the other one I picked up was Stand By Me, a movie from my childhood. It's not that it came out when I was a kid, but I watched it a lot when I was younger. And this is a great movie. It's based off a Stephen King book. Um... Just fix it with non-gaming stuff. I picked up a lot of cassette tapes at a uh, flea market and I'll just go through these uh, like I've kind of said in the past I am a big I'm a big fan of music I also like to buy music I'm a big uh, vinyl collector well I don't have a huge collection but I like to collect vinyl too I did a lot when I was in high school and like directly out of high school but I bought a bunch of old shitty cassette tapes which I can probably convert to CDs and stuff later on but uh a lot of these are cool old metal albums that, like, I don't really own. So it's nice to have something to throw into, uh, you know, just a metal collection that I have. I got Slayer, Season of the Abyss, Slayer, Rain and Blood, uh, Soundtrack to the Crow, the film, Metallica's Black Album, great for my Metallica collection, Slayer, Hell Awaits, Nine Inch Nails, The Downward Spiral. Nine Inch Nails, Pretty Hate Machine. This is an excellent album. 311 Grassroots. And the soundtrack to A Clockwork Orange. So, who the fuck listens to cassette tapes anymore? Uh, nobody. Uh, even including me. I'll find a way to play them, though. Uh, they, were, they were super cheap. The guy was selling them for, like, change. And it was awesome music that I really liked. So I couldn't pass it up. Uh, also at a flea market, I picked up two Sega Genesis games for really, really cheap. I was surprised when the guy told me how much they were. I got Splatterhouse 2 for Genesis and Streets of Rage 2 in the box uh, for 50 cents a piece. So, pretty fucking sweet there. Uh, Streets of Rage does not come with the book, but it did come with its clamshell box, so that was freaking cool. Uh, moving on, also that same day... I found this at the flea market for eight bucks. It's Alone in the Dark for the Dreamcast. It has both its disc in good condition, and it has the booklet. The box has some sticker wear on it and some residue, but I'm pretty sure I could clean that up. 
And the only bad thing about this is the discs do have small initials written on them. So I don't know if you can clean marker up off uh, a disc or not. I'm too chicken shit at the moment to try until maybe I find a tutorial online. But Alone in the Dark, when I looked it up, it's about a $15 to $20 game that I picked up for 8 bucks. So it's pretty cool. Uh, I said I found some stuff at GameStop. And I, when I was reading online about this initially, Grand Theft Auto V is getting more and more into marketing right now because the game's coming out in spring. So all the stores that were taking pre-orders, I read they are going to have 25 of these little viewfinder things and 100 posters for the first 25 and 100 people that pre-ordered from the store. Uh, and this was Best Buys, GameStops, all kinds of stuff. So, I also read on, I could have sworn I remember reading it online, that it started on Monday, though, and that's today. And this was Saturday that I was stopped by a GameStop to finish paying off my Halo 4. But, I went in, there was a poster on the wall, uh, it was packed in there for some reason, and when I got up front, I asked the guy if the, if the, if the Rockstar, you know, Grand Theft Auto, uh, you know, deal was, it started, or when does it start, and it said it, they were doing it then, so I definitely pre-ordered, and the crazy news I found out is that I originally read online, it was 25 viewfinders, which is one of these, it's got the Rockstar emblem on that, it's got the Fly USA on there, and it's got an image of a place in the game when you look through, kind of like those little flippy things you had when you were kids. I got it upside down. This is Vinewood Hills, and it says, See the Stars. So I, it's probably like a Beverly Hills, because this Grand Theft Auto is taking place in a fictional L.A. Um, but what the guy at the desk told me is that, no, there was only 20 shipped to each store, and five of them went to employees at the store. So there's really only 15 up for grabs when you pre-ordered, and this was the third to last one. So I actually got one of these, still with its box. Um, I also got the poster, which I'll show you at the end of the video because I'm not going to be able to get it up now. Uh, that's really cool. Um, this thing, I think I'm going to hold on to it for a while. If anybody watches this video in any time in the future, uh, I'm not too big at holding on to it. If you're a Grand Theft Auto fan and want one of these or want to complete a collection, um, go ahead and private message me in the future. Probably not so much when it's out now. I'd like to sit on it for a little bit just because I do like it. I think it's a cool knickknack to have. Uh, I'm going to keep the poster because I like the picture on it. And I'm going to... Got some barren walls back there. All my other posters are in my actual bedroom. So I'm going to actually hang the poster up here in the game room. But, uh, yeah, so if, I know, what I like to do, I did this with my Borderlands 2, I had the, the loot chest edition, and I just pre-ordered on a whim, not a huge Borderlands fan, uh, those games are really, really great, but they don't, they don't, I'm not, like, really, really into it, so, uh, I gave it to somebody who would more appreciate it, and that's, that's what I want to do, maybe with this, uh, this little viewfinder, um, from Rockstar, if somebody would really, really like it, if they're a big fan, and like, if that's what you need to complete your collection, um, go ahead and let me know, and, you know, really, I want to get it, I want to get it in the hands of a fan, though, I don't want to get it into somebody who's just going to sell it on eBay, so if you want it to want it, let me know, if you want it just to, because, you know, it's going to be something rare, and you can sit on it, uh, you know, don't, don't bother, because that's not what I want. That's not what I'm looking at. I want to get it in the hands of a fan who maybe missed out on his opportunity. So don't don't bother me if you just want to like sell it again. The last thing I have, uh, believe it or not, and I've said this before, never owned a Nintendo system till the GameCube. Uh, I've got some N64 games, but I never had a Nintendo 64. So some games I picked up were Super Mario 64. And hey, you Pikachu. And these carts, I have some N64 games now that I picked up in the past from when I did pick up an N64. Uh, I knew it was games I wanted to play. My neighbor had an N64 growing up, so I, I, I got to play the games that were good on it. 
but a lot of N64 carts are just in shit condition. Like, the stuff's messed up. There's always things written on them because people would store them in things and write the title of a game. Um, like, on the top, if they sat like that or if they sat on a shelf. They usually got marker on them, people's initials, because I don't know about anybody else, but I was from the time where, man, Pokemon cards were big, your video games were big. Uh, you know, back when we were kids, and, like, when stuff was big and popular, kids would steal your shit in a heartbeat. So I just remember kids putting their initials in permanent marker in the corner of Pokemon cards or on the back of Pokemon cards, uh, you know, if you had rare ones. So some kids stole it at school because... You know, you take them to school and show your friends and shit, and you weren't supposed to have them, so you'd, like, all hide them, and, like, somebody would be like, dude, let me see your deck, and, like, you know, they'd shuffle through your deck, and they just pocket those bastards. I had someone try to do that to me one time, and I just told them, I was like, give my fucking card back, and I actually got it back, which I was pretty, that was a crazy part in my life, because, like, that kid was, like, a bully and shit, and, like, I was just like, give me that card back, and he just gave it to me. <laughs> like, I didn't threaten to tell or anything, but it was pretty crazy. Uh, stupid stories from my past. But these carts, these these carts are in great condition. Really good shape, um, especially for popular games. I don't know about Hey You Pikachu, but this Super Mario 64, I'm not a big fan of this game at all. I don't like it that much at all. But um, it, it's, it's clean. It looks great. And the best thing about the ad is I actually got this off Craigslist. The guy, um, he had it on there, and he said... He's got a, a fire, fire. I think it's it's fire flame orange is like the name. There's like the watermelon, the atomic purple, the jungle green. Um, he had a watermelon, an orange one, and a standard one. And like from what I've known, and I don't know if the internet is going with this or not, but at least around here, every time in the used game store, there's people in there asking for a fire orange in 64. Um, and the people that I've heard in there talking, two of them were like the biggest some of the biggest collector guys i've met around in my area um and they both wanted a fire orange in 64 so when i read this on craigslist i thought one of those guys would have gobbled it up by now because like they're on that stuff they got the time to do that i really don't uh but i called the guy and in the ad he said that the jumper pack uh off the fire orange was missing so i was like damn it i'm never gonna have to find that one i was like Oh, well, I'll just make it look stupid and put a gray one on there. But um, when I met him, he actually said the jumper pack was on there. So it's amazing how misinformation can turn into a fortune, even though, like, that's what it should have been in the beginning. But just that he misput something up there, uh, like, it made it better. Maybe that's why some people that actually wanted the fire orange declined it, because they didn't have the jumper pack lid. I thought it would be so hard to find an orange jumper pack lid. But there it is, my first N64 that I've ever owned. It's a fire orange one. Uh, it came with the cables. Uh, it's pretty damn clean. All his stuff looked pretty good. I would have liked to get in the watermelon one too, but he, he was asking too much money for it. But so fire orange Nintendo 64. I've heard you know, I've heard a lot of people were wanting this. So I'm I feel I feel good that I have it. It probably doesn't mean anything to maybe other collectors. Uh, I don't know what color is the rarest. I thought gold was. Again, I'm not a big N64 guy. But I know I know some big collectors were in the used game stores a couple weeks ago. And, like, they were all talking about Fire Orange. So I got that stuff. Um, I want you guys to keep it uh, kind of locked to this channel. Uh, tonight, I'm on the East Coast. I live four miles away from the ocean. So I will have a Halo 4 unboxing video tonight. I'm pretty sure a bunch of other places have them already, um, like IGN and the big guys and whatnot. Uh, but it's going to be, you know, a, a consumer unboxing. I'll have the camera set up for when I get home. I'll throw that thing down, unbox it real quick. A lot of the guys I play with are on Midwest time, so I have an hour in between maybe playing with most of my friends. So I'll do a Halo 4 unboxing. I'm going to also throw you guys another link to uh, Xander Scullion's channel. He's going to be out doing some interviews, a lot of fun stuff tonight out at the mall, and just talking about Halo 4 in general. He'll eventually have that up on his channel, but he's doing a lot of stuff with that. So I'm going to plug him right now, check out Xander's, uh, you know, and hopefully I'll, I'll, add a, I'll add a link to the video actually later. But 
Xander Scullion's going to have a cool interview um, video up for like the Halo 4 you know, pre-release party around. And I'll be at that. Uh, I'm going to have an unboxing video later on. And I want you guys to keep it tuned also because later on this year I'm going to go to New York. I'm going to try to check out some retro stores there. And will see me on vacation. Probably won't be able to afford anything in stores like that from what I've heard from some of my collector friends online. But uh, it'll be cool to maybe show it off, and maybe I will get something, maybe I won't. But we'll have uh, retro hunting in the Big Apple. So that's what we have coming up. I just want to thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys online playing Halo 4. What is it? Can you feel it? See it? Hear it today? If you can't, then it doesn't matter anyway. You will never understand it, because it happens too fast, and it feels so